Welcome to the Mantis Bible Study 4 video series. This is the Complete Word Study Bible uh, by Zodiades. And this video uh, centers in on the special features of the Complete Word Study Bible, um, which is a, a fairly new resource. And I'll warn you right off the bat, uh, this is uh, based on uh, a 4.1.0 version of Mantis Bible, which has not been released as of this video, but it's coming soon, and eventually you'll see all these features available. Uh, most of the features are, are already available, but some of them won't show up until you get the 4.1 update. Uh, the Complete Word Study Bible is actually a combination of two printed products, the Complete Word Study Old Testament and the Complete Word Study New Testament by AMG Publishing which is uh, by Zodiades, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, first of all, it's, it's built on the King James Bible, so it starts with the King James text, and underlined words uh, are words that have Strong's numbers attached. Uh, again, with all of our Strong's resources, if you go to Tools, Options, you can uh, view the Strong's numbers as numbers. Uh, you can also view them, uh, you'll notice here that the plus has uh, a, the Strong's number for this hidden word that's not translated into English. You can also go back and change them back to words. I like to, to work in this mode because it's a little bit easier to read the text and still uh, have a quick uh, one-tap access to analyzing the words. You can also use the toolbar to uh, toggle Strong's numbers on and off very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and hit the toolbar and toggle Strong's numbers back on. And we'll start with uh, analyzing a word. Um, first word that we'll analyze here is uh, the word beginning, right from Genesis 1.1. And all I need to do is tap on the word to open up its Strong's definition, its grammatical usage, and there's some other tools here. But basically this is a standard Strong's definition for the word beginning, which is the Hebrew word uh, 7225. Uh, Reshith, at least that's I believe how you pronounce it. I don't uh, speak Hebrew, but here's a, a nice uh, uh, easy uh, way to pronounce it. Uh, if you have any nested Strong's numbers, in this case it says uh, it's from the same as H72 uh, or Hebrew word 7218, I can uh, tap that word to drill down and sometimes you can drill further and further down to get to the meanings of the words. But here's the definition of uh, 7218 and again I can tap it again to close it. So it's very easy to, uh, to tap and drill down to uh, root words if you need to. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is uh, the lex uh, lexical aids. If uh, there's a section in the back of the Complete Word Study Bible called lex lexical aids, and uh, if there is a lexical aid for this particular Strong's number, which is H7225, uh, uh, that definition will appear here. And any time there are scripture references embedded inside the uh, lexical aid, you'll be able to click those and preview those verses. Here's Revelation 3.14. And again, you can tap again to close those references. So you can go read those without jumping and losing your place. So I'm going to close those, and I'll go ahead and close the, the lexical aid. That's just extra information on this particular Strong's number that's helpful. The uh, King James Concordance and uh, Brown Driver Briggs are optional resources that are sold separately. If you happen to have, say, the Brown Driver Briggs uh, installed, it'll show up here, and you can tap to get the Brown Driver Briggs definition for uh, word 7225. And it also has the Hebrew in there, which is kind of nice. Um, a New Testament option is also uh, Thayer's uh, Greek definitions. That'll appear in the New Testament, but again, only if you've purchased it and installed it, and that's a separate product. Um, Find is another great tool here. Uh, clicking Find looks up this word, 7225, throughout the Bible, or at least the Old Testament, since it's a Hebrew word. And it shows you where, where it's found throughout the Old Testament. In this case, it's found in the book of Psalms three times. And I can tap to, uh, to see the references. Uh, if I want to see, for example, if I want to see Psalm 111, 10, I can tap on it and preview that verse. And then tapping this uh, complete word study link here uh, in the version 4.1 of Mantis actually brings up a little handy menu and it'll allow me to bookmark this particular verse so I can come back and look at it later. I can go and analyze this verse, uh, this particular verse. I can jump to this verse and start reading there or I can hit cancel. I'm going to go back and cancel. And again you can tap these references and toggle these uh, embedded verses on or off. 
which is very, very handy for uh, looking to see how this word was used other places in Scripture. I'm going to go ahead and close the Find option here. And go back to the top of this word. The uh, Zodiades works, the Complete Word Study Bible has uh, grammatical notations for each word, uh, each Strong's word. And in this case, the, the notes are P, P, C, S, and N, N. Now I don't have those memorized, so I can just tap here and see that that means CS is construct, NN is noun, and PP is prefixed preposition. Now if I want more information, for example, on what a noun is, there are notes on the individual grammatical entry. So if I tap the 61, I can read about a noun, and again there's embedded scripture references that <clears throat> sort of emphasize how nouns are used in different places in the Bible. And again if I tap the 61 again it'll close the reference there's also cross references you can say uh, it'll say C1 C also 9 and again you can tap the number to uh, to view to view that definition in any case and again if I tap the uh, uh, grammatical codes again they'll appear and disappear if I as I tap them um, the uh, again tapping the the, the word that we started with beginning will close all that information so we can toggle it on and off. You can also analyze multiple words at one time. Um, the, the pluses, for, um, for instance, are words that were not translated into English but, but appeared in the original text and so I can you know, view, uh, view the full definition of that word as well and I can tap it to, again to close it. The, uh, the Complete Word Study Bible also has uh, uh, notes, uh, uh, translator's notes on uh, individual uh, verses. If you see one, it'll it'll show up as an asterisk. And again, tapping the asterisk will show the note, and the note will appear. And again, you can tap it again to close it. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to show you in uh, uh, the Complete Word Study Bible is uh, it also has. Uh, book introductions for each book of the Bible. So if you go to Genesis, um, we're putting it at uh, all the book introductions as chapter zero. So uh, if you're looking in the uh, grid mode and you're trying to find the book introduction, it'll be found in chapter zero because the introduction comes before the um, before the the rest of the book. So just click on the overview, and it's separated into sections here, like verses, but really you can just tap at the beginning and then here's the full overview of the book of Genesis and those are are very helpful as well. This has been an overview of the Complete Word Study Bible by Zodiades by AMG Publishing available for Mantis Bible Study 4.